There's this line in the movie that sums up the movie perfectly. It says, love is the easiest thing in the world when it happens by accident, but it doesn't get real until you do it on purpose. Intergalactic is about Jabari, a charming streetwear clad artist on the cusp of real success. After a chance running with his cool new photographer neighbor, Meadow, Jabari has to figure out whether he can make space for love in his life. Starring an amazing cast, Timothy Chalamet as Jimmy, Vanessa Hudgens as Karina, Keith David as Mr. Rager, Macaulay Kalkin as Downtown Pat and Jabari as Kid Cudi to name but a few. I think there's going to be a lot of comparisons to the Spider-Man animated movie because of the type of animation style that this is and I think that's fair enough that did set the bar really high and since then we've had very similar animated movies kind of following in that rotoscoped style very vibrant colors and it worked for the most part. I just want to get my one negative out of the way before I go into the positives which this is mostly going to be a positive review. There is this stuttering of the animation style throughout the movie. It starts at the beginning, it's more prominent and then I think you get used to it, but it's there throughout. And it feels like they were missing some frames, like there just not, isn't enough frames in the animation style to make the characters move like a normal character would move, especially as the style of the characters are very humanistic, but also animated like the Spider-Man style. So that took me out of it a little bit, but once you get used to it, I think it's probably on purpose as part of the style that they were going for, then your mind kind of wraps around it and then it's okay. If you're still watching and you're looking forward to the rest of the view, don't forget to punch that bell, punch that subscribe button, now. and beat up the like button because, you know, I've got to say something that will hopefully get you to subscribe Traumatized, sort of. if you're enjoying my content. Uh. Let's get back to the review. Now for the positives. So ultimately, this is a rom-com drama animation story uh, set to a MTV music-esque style video. And it works perfectly because it is that animation style, because the music complements the story and the characters with inside. I think there's a lot that people are gonna be able to relate to, whether it is the budding creator in you or the, the wanting for a real tangible relationship, not knowing how to go um, about that, also the world we live in with these apps where people can just willy-nilly willy -nilly. jump from one person to the next and not really engage in a real relationship there are things that it touches on but at the core center of the story between the storyline of the budding creators inside trying to get out creators and being seen is the romance story here and that took me by surprise I didn't think it was gonna be about that uh, it was a happy surprise I think it shows a very real relationship and you do care about Jabari the character it starts off with him trying to to get past an ex and that kind of crops up throughout the film and then he's neighbor and taking the risk again on love it showcases well I've got all these things in my life my life is quite good at the moment do I really want to complicate it with this other person and it showcases the story from both sides from Jabari and Meadow I liked Meadow's character as well as she's wrestling with her creative side and being seen how she shows herself through her photography and Jabari the same with his artwork not wanting to conform to what society is probably going to push him to Towards what his art should look like and as a writer and content creator I hate even hate that word content creator I understand that every day we're putting ourselves out there trying to make content relevant entertaining speak from your heart make it useful for people to come away from yeah I believe what he said or I agree with him or no I absolutely hated him why has he got dreads who is this white dude that's having dreads what is he thinking about all of that putting yourself out there as a creator is tough and I related to that part of it but then there is also obviously the love story that I think people are going to relate to more than a lot of rom-coms that I've seen because it makes these characters feel very real and tangible. Even though it's animated, it's great. But for me, the thing that stands out above the rest, apart from the rom-com story, apart from the animation style, Don't say. is when the animation takes a left turn. Right when, left. when it does something different and really creative. So we have this great rotoscoping, vibrant style, this animation story. But then every now and again, some of the characters will either be dreaming and that there'll be a new sort of style of the animation or one of the characters will tell a story and sometimes it's quick spurts of these different types of animation styles and it's just so fun so we're already like on board we are enjoying the story we're rooting for Jabari and Meadow and then we have this animation style the rotoscope sort of spider-man universe animation which is fantastic and then we get these little spurts of different types of animation styles that it is all kind of centered around the music that continues to flow the music might 
might not be your type of style, you might not enjoy it. I think most people enjoy a, a variety of music, but some might go, that's not the type of music I normally listen to. For this film, it works perfectly. And I think with In Tangent with the creator, obviously there is an album or something, I believe, with Intergalactic that you can go and listen to. I thought it was really good. I thoroughly entertained. Are you not entertained? It's probably one I'll go back to in a little while. Really fun. I'm gonna give it a solid four and a half Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> I think it's just really interesting, it's different, it dares to be different and when it's a story about creativity in its premise amongst the love story, amongst the variant types of animation styles in here, I think it's definitely worth a go. In amongst the, the voice actors I thought those that stood out was Meadow and I think Jabari himself. There's also um, Will Smith's son was in here for one episode which was interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below, thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember, live long Tuesday.